Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Dinarans on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. It is November 6, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday. First article of interest. Abdul Mahdi points to the possibility of dissolving the Iraqi government and handing them within hours. November 5, 2019 11.25 p.m. Baghdad, direct, the Prime Minister of Iraq, Adel Abdul Mahdi, that the budget must be approved quickly 2020 to prevent the disruption of resources of the working sectors. Adel Abdul Mahdi, in a speech on Tuesday, on his vision for options to meet the demands of the demonstrators, said that leaving the country without direct administration enters the country in a dangerous spiral, noting that there are mechanisms to dissolve the government and delivered within hours through the House of Representatives. He hinted that there are demands to change the constitution and the replacement of the Electoral Commission and this cannot be without a government, and that going to the constitution and legal context is better than going to the unknown. Many economic, political and social mistakes have not been properly and radically addressed, he aid, he added. The Council of Ministers submitted an amendment to the elections of provincial councils aimed at redressing the independence he stressed the need to go to achieve the legitimate demands politically, economically and service. Next article of interest. From Peace to Prosperity, the conference to find out what happening for Iraq business. November 6, 2019. The Iraq-Britain Business Council IBBC Autumn Conference in Dubai on December 8 is set against a backdrop of relative peace and security in Iraq and the prospect of oil revenue surging through the economy is driving a wider range of business opportunities and the prospective 8% increase in GDP. Peace is enabling the economy to diversify through the revenues that pay for a range of infrastructure projects, so this autumn we are focusing on a range of sectors set to benefit from a stable Iraq, namely, water, transport and logistics, energy and tech. The recent protests have also spurred on government reforms and incentives to drive employment entrepreneurship and service diversity, and increase the volume of opportunity that lies ahead and the prospects for not just business to business but also a burgeoning consumer market. The Iraqi electricity minister will likely be speaking about his reforms to open up the market to SME, training and new players. Other ministers including those from construction and transport are attending. The recent announcement of a 10-year tax-free period for SMEs in Iraq will also stimulate the tech entrepreneur market and drive the uptake of engineering skills. At this conference, we will discuss big-picture economics with Professor Frank Gunter Leha University, Ahmed Tabakali AFC Iraq Fund, and Simon Penny UK Trade and Investment, who will address the economic backdrop in the Middle East, and the context for Iraq in particular. The World Bank and Wood PLC will cover the water sector while Rolls-Royce, Basra Gateway Terminal BGT, and Menzies will look at transport and logistics, and Iraq Electricity Minister, G. Siemens and Enka will focus on energy. Alongside the conference our tech forum brings experts on health tech and educational tech, including speakers from GE, Siemens Healthcare, KPMG, EY, Google and the British Council, among others, while key opportunities will be outlined. The real opportunity for business is to meet the people directly involved in contracts and supply chain opportunities. This is the place to do business, to network and to find out what's happening in the Middle East most potentially dynamic market that is Iraq. Next article of interest. U.S. Secretary of State, Iraq and Lebanon deserve to make their way away from Iran's interventions. 6 November, 2019. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Wednesday, November 6, 2019 that the Iraqi and Lebanese people want to retake their countries from the Iranian regime. The Iraqi and Lebanese people want their countries back, Pompeo said in a tweet, adding that they discover that the Iranian regime is issuing them corruption that is badly covered by the name of the revolution. Iraq and Lebanon deserve to make their way away from the interventions of the ineligible leader, he said. Next article of interest. Cabinet issues new reform package in response to protesters' demands. Wednesday, November 6, 2019 Baghdad Morning The judicial and legislative authorities affirmed their support for the efforts of the government and security agencies to impose security and stability throughout the country and protect demonstrators and private and public property and economic facilities and ensure the regularity of work and permanence and smooth movement of citizens. At a time when the Council of Ministers decided on Tuesday to issue a new reform package in response to the demands of the demonstrators, 
the power to approve the appointment of graduates of oil training institutes for 2018 and 2019 on the permanent staff of the ministry. The Prime Minister's Information Office said in a statement received on Tuesday that the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Adel Abdul Mahdi, held a meeting in the presence of the President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Faik Zidan, Speaker of the House of Representatives Mohammed Halbasi, and the Ministers of Defense and Interior of Security Leaders. The statement added, the meeting discussed the developments of the conditions and procedures necessary to maintain security and order during which they confirm the support of the judicial and legislative authorities to the efforts of the government and security agencies to impose security and stability throughout the country and the protection of demonstrators and private and public property and economic facilities and to ensure the regularity of work and the smooth movement of citizens. Next article of interest, AFP, Abdul Mahdi and Barm are in a state of estrangement. Tehran is uncomfortable with the role of the president of Iraq. November 6, 19 Baghdad Obelisk, Iraqi demonstrators are worried on Wednesday, November 6, 2019, that the interruption of the Internet is a sign of a return to violence in the country at the beginning of October, according to agents France Press. On the political front, things seem to be frozen until now, especially with the announcement of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi on Tuesday that the solutions presented so far are not enough, especially the holding of early parliamentary elections. The issue of the elections was proposed by President Barm Salee, who is conducting political consultations with senior leaders in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. So far it is clear that Abdul Mahdi and Saleh are in a state of estrangement, an Iraqi official told AFP, where Abdul Mahdi feels his ally has abandoned him. Several political sources close to the decision circles told AFP that Iran is not comfortable with the role of Barm Saleh in the current crisis has abandoned those who brought him to the presidency at the first crossroads. Next article of interest, Washington urges Baghdad to urgent and serious interaction with the demonstrators. Baghdad, Middle East online Arab world. The U.S. Embassy in Baghdad on Wednesday condemned the killing and abduction of unarmed protesters by security forces in Iraq and urged the country leaders to react urgently and seriously with protesters. We deplore the killing and abduction of unarmed protesters. The threat to freedom of expression and the cycle of violence, the embassy said in a statement, Iraqis must be free to make their own decisions about the future of their country. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo wrote yesterday on the site Twitter that the people of Iraq and Lebanon deserve to choose their paths away from the intervention of Iranian leader Ali Khamenei. Security forces shot dead at least 13 protesters in the 24 hours to Tuesday evening giving up their relatively restraint for weeks in a bid to quell anti-government protests. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like subscribe button and check out the CEP Currency Exchange Planner. The link is in the description panel. Make sure to tell them the Dinare and sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you. Knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now. The Dinare